And what about you? And we're back. And we're going to do another wee bit of mucking about on the bench, a few metres out. And uh, we've uh, bought a couple of these wee boys here, uh, very cheap on eBay. There, you can see that. Two piezoelectric speaker sounder buzzer acoustic discs. And uh, I got the 25, uh, 27 millimeter ones there. And there they are on the bench. There's the two of them come in that bag. And uh, we're going to do, see how they work and uh, see what we can use them for. Okay. So we've got these wee uh, piezoelectric uh, discs and these things are used heavily in uh, automotive sensors and stuff like that and uh, I got these here just to experiment with them and I have a couple of wee thoughts of what I actually may be able to use them for but uh, well I think we should, st we should uh, explain what these are, how they work and uh, do a bit of that. So we've got our ohmmeter set up here and if we just simply uh, press it with my finger we can see a resistance change there on the wee vantage. We can maybe see it a wee bit better in this meter so I'll just swap the leads over to that. Okay, the leads uh, pulled out of that, swapped over into the wee meter there, and we can see a similar thing happening there. So, when I press it with my finger, I'm seeing a resistance change. So, there's no power to this, uh, it's just completely changing resistance with pressure. So, that's what this thing is doing. It's a pressure sensor. So. We'll uh, maybe look at exactly, look into this wee bit of this, this pizza thing and see how it works. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take this down for a wee minute and I'm going to set up a wee uh, explanation here on the bench uh, to see what is actually going on. So we're going to actually put that in volts DC. And... We can see a voltage there, a current. So we'll maybe see that better in the voltage. Yeah, it's a bit clearer in the voltage there. So if I press it, positive and then negative. So press it, 16.9 volts there. It'll show me a maximum there of 35. So. Yeah, I just reset the, the min max there. So we've got a 33.8 and a minus 23.9 there. So that's a good about the wee voltage there. It holds the, the figures rather than the, the voltmeter. So that's why I have it on a 50 volt scale there. So plus and minus 30 odds and uh, yeah. We'll have a wee look at that in the scope. But first of all, okay, we've our wee uh, mix egg set up here, and we're going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to press it with my finger. And that's our pulses. So I'm going to just do a single sequence here. And yeah, so what we can see is there's our plus. And there's our, our minus. Plus is a wee bit, there's a wee bit more of a spike on the plus there and a minus. So what I'm trying to get at here is this is a differential pressure, uh, pressure sensor. So it measures the, the upward and the downward as well. So whenever uh, we saw that with the resistance going negative, the voltage going negative and positive, and we can see it very clearly in the scope. So works a wee bit differently from your uh, transducer that we're using in other videos which would be the like of this. The like of this has uh, 5 volts going into it 
So it's it's measuring the it's measuring voltage. Uh, so it's the the, tr the pressure transducer is, is changing the, the, the amount of voltage, whereas this thing here is generating its own voltage uh, with that change in resistance that we saw earlier in the voltage. So, very simple wee device and used extensively in, uh, in the automotive. There's all sorts of things that you can, you can get regarding uh, pressure sensors. Uh, Sometimes they're known as a, a first look sensor. This was this is one here, and that's the the BNC end. And you just simply put a bit of pipe on it. Totally passive. Uh, there's no batteries, no five volt power supply that you, this is used in that. And uh, we just simply put a bit of pipe on it. And uh, we've seen a few videos on YouTube of people being very inventive of uh, what they're actually using these for. So they're, they're using this for uh, this type of effect here, for uh, seeing a guy putting it in, the, in his radiator to uh, chase a, a potential head gasket failure. So he's, he's looking to see if there's any pressure in the radiator from the compression. Uh, guys stick it up the exhaust pipe. This is uh, its primary design. You get it with this uh, pipe and you shove that up the exhaust and you look for exhaust pulses and uh, Another one I've seen, which is a very interesting one, uh, was a guy who's using it as a stethoscope. So we got a, a normal, let me see if I have one here. Yeah, a normal stethoscope like that. And he screwed that, he screwed that end off it there. If that one there is gonna come off. Oh, it's not gonna come off. So he got, he got that end there off anyway, and he, he put it, he put it onto there, and uh, he was able to actually see his uh, vibration uh, from a noisy pulley or something like that actually on the screen. And it's all down to this effect here, and uh, it's a very, very simple device. But I'm going to try to uh, see if I can use this wee disc for maybe listening to injectors uh, in diesels and uh, maybe put it to other uses like that. I'll maybe give it a go, maybe do a video on it. But uh, I, wanna, I wanna show you another wee, a wee setup that I, that I did there uh, with a map sensor. And it's basically, map sensor is piezo crystal, but it works a wee bit like that, where it uses the five volts. And uh, so you have a five volts of ground and a signal output, which is very similar to what's going on here uh, with this one here. So let me have a wee look at that. Okay, so here we have a map sensor. I think that's out of a, a route. And uh, I've connected it up with my breakout leads here. So I've just got a five volt down the ground and a signal out there. And uh, we've got a five volt uh, regulator, this wee box here. It's running off that nine volt battery. And this is the wee setup I use for the, uh, the pressure challenges. So this is a setup for use for that. But that's that's basically what this is. This is a, a pressure transducer, but it's a, a negative. It's just negative only. So what's happening here is it's using the, the five volts as a reference, and then it's looking for uh, it going down. So we can we can see that happening on the scope. It's not working like the, uh, the wee pizza crystal where it goes uh, positive and negative. It just goes the other way. So, um, that's what the, the difference is. These here are a differential pressure sensor that's, or a delta pressure sensor. So you're looking at, it goes up and down, positive and negative. And I like these, these uh, the ones that are powered. Anything that's powered is, uh, is just looking at positive, or in this case, negative pressure. It's just a, a transistor and a, a diode on it to make it go in that, just the one direction. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this, uh, I'm gonna put this pipe on here bit of fuel line, get on there. So quite a good seal there. So that's our setup. That's our setup there. We're just going to uh, give us a bit of a bit of a suck and a bit of a blow here uh, with my, my mouth. So we're just putting that up down there. So that's me sucking it. Mm. Oh. 
and we can see it dropping down. And we can see our, our voltage going down. So it's it's biased at five volts, and it's it, you're pulling the voltage down, and that's uh, that's converted into the serial data and the ECU to uh, milligrams of mercury or whatever it is vacuum pressure. So similarly, if a if a blue Indian, there's a wee bit happening there, but uh, it's clearly only designed to go in one direction. So maybe slow that down a wee bit. This will take a wee minute or two. There we go. If I blow it, it goes up a wee tiny bit. But it's clearly only designed to go in the one direction. So that's a wee bit on transducers. So I'll maybe, I'll maybe uh, set this up to the car here and uh, give it a wee go in the mix sig and uh, see what we get out of it. But you can use this on, a, on the Wii 2204A. I'm just using that because it's, uh, it's, it's fairly clear. It comes out clear in the camera. So, oh, you know. So this piezoelectric effect then, and uh, here's probably the most simplest piezoelectric device there. So we're gonna energize a spring by pressing that plunger and then it releases and thumps a piezo crystal in there and uh, creates a voltage that jumps that gap there. So that's our gas layer with uh, <coughs> no power at all, no batteries in that. So that's just, uh, that's just like me hitting that disc. That's, not, it's, that's just like me banging that disc there. So we we'll have a two dimensional uh, crystal here, uh, very, very simplified. So this as a, a, in a normal three dimensional, it is a lattice, but this is, this is 2D. This, uh, what I'm showing here is a representation of a, a quartz crystal. So quartz is sil silicon dioxide. So we'll have silicon and oxygen, silicon, oxygen, silicon, oxygen, and silicon has a slight positive charge to it. And the oxygen has a slight negative charge to it. So what happens is, is when we deform this lattice, when we move this about, the plus and the minus move about, the plus and the minus come together. So if you, if you put it like this, if you put it like that, you'll have a, a negative charge going in that direction. And if you, if you move it in the other direction, like that, it'll be positive going more in that direction. So that's how, that's how we're able to get the uh, the plus and the minus, that's where the differential bit comes from, or the delta. Uh, so that's why it goes from, uh, and we saw that in the, on the wee vantage there, with the, the plus voltage and the minus voltage. So that's what's happening. That's, the, uh, that's, that's those electrons going in and out like that. Now, s similarly then, uh, from this type of passive uh, device, to our transducer, which is say in, in one of these or in a map sensor, which is energized. The, the same thing happens only in reverse. So it's a wee bit like, uh, it's a wee bit like a generator on a motor. Uh, so a motor, if you, if you put a mechanical spin on it, it creates voltage. Whereas the other way around, if, uh, if, Yes, and the other way around is the case. If you uh, if you put voltage in it, then you then you get uh, a driven force. So with with this, it, it works the same. So if we put if we put voltage into that, if we put voltage into the to this transducer, then that actually excites these molecules. That makes them move about. So. Uh, this is used in, in ultrasound and in, in various other devices where uh, you can actually put sound waves onto this and get the, the molecule to move and, and you get a voltage output as a result. So it works in both directions. So uh, that's why you can have a passive one and you can have an active one. So ho hopefully that explains it a wee bit. It's, uh, it's not, a, not a great, uh, it's not a great representation, but it's very, very simplified. But 
hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea. Right, so here we are. We have our first look pressure pulse sensor connected with our BNC lead. And the BNC lead, it's a fairly long one there going to the next sig there. So, and the, the bit of pipe in the end of it. So, I've set it up, it's at uh, 500 milliseconds there. Um, look and see if it's working. Just give it a bit of a blow and a suck here. So, there's our, our differential pressure or our delta pressure. Okay, so we're going to shove this up a tailpipe. Car's running with uh, our ventilation there. So, right, if you're going to do this for real, you probably need to block these other these other pipes. There's four pipes on this car, and uh, but just for this demonstration, we're just going to stick it up. That one there, <coughs> and uh, it's just going to sit on the floor. So we just have it up the pipe there, and it's connected over to our hang. So. That's uh, there's our waveform, and as we can see, there's far too much on the screen there, so we'll have to bring that down a bit. It's something a wee bit more readable. Let me see. Twenty milliseconds. Yeah. So there's our pulses from our exhaust, and uh, just for a wee bit of experimentation, we'll give the car a wee bit of a rev. So let me move that around a wee bit. Keep you on it. Well, I'm um, getting the accelerator. Let me see. So we'll see a few changes over the revs. So, yeah. That's here, that's the pulses there then, from that. So there we go, <coughs> I think that'll do this for this video, and I uh, hope it maybe inspired somebody. You could probably make uh, one of them pulse sensors out of one of those discs. They're a couple of quid, as you saw, on eBay, and uh, you could experiment with them. But uh, I'm going to see if I can use it for uh, picking up injectors and uh, other wee we we noises and pulse. I think it makes a. I think it pulses. Oh, there's some sort of different difference in pressure. Um, uh, hope maybe gonna put it to different uses. But yeah, that's our our we uh, pulse sensor and totally passive. Uh, there's no five volts. You don't need to make up a wee a wee boil like that like the, you do with the transducers. And uh, it's just plug and play and away you go. So hope you enjoyed the video and all the best. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.